Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model a family. So as you can see this in, in this image, so this is a, um, a, a what do we call this, a tube, and a circular shape tube. And then we need to model something like a, a patch to cover, to, to, place, to place on this tube. Okay. So we need to make it parametric and to match the shape of that. Okay. So this is so roughly what we will get. So it's a, a parametric. So it, you can change the radius depending on what the the radius of this is with all these parameters. Okay. So let's do it. So first. We need to create a generic model, phase based. Okay, so go to front view. So we first we need to create some reference plan. So first, this reference plan, and another reference plan below the level. Okay, I will explain to what they are. So first, so this reference plan. So let's just create a dimension from the reference level to this let's call it r1 instance okay so this uh, this reference will be the center point of this shape this structure or this tube uh, it's roughly here okay so this is the center point of that and we will need to create a revolve using this okay so now and this one so this reference reference plan, this one, is for the radius of this circle, the profile. Okay. So let's select this uh, dimension and create another one. So let's call it R2. So now we have two uh, radius. So go back to floor plan. So we are going to create a uh, a revolve. Okay, here revolve and click on revolve. So we need to pick a reference plan. So you click on set work plan, pick a plan, okay, and pick this reference plan. And then Revit will ask you which view you want to go. So let's go to front view. Okay, so in this front view, so first let's draw a axis line. So draw it on this reference plan so let me just use TL yeah okay so draw it here and you can lock just lock it onto this reference plan okay so you can also use a line in the lock so okay so that's it and then we need to create profile okay so we are going to um, create a profile it would be if you uh, let me just do a screenshot of this so if you do a cut and look this way, it will be you will see this tube, okay? And then the patch will be something like this. So it will follow the shape of this. This is uh, R two. Oh, sorry, lowercase R. So this is R two, okay? So now let's go back to Revit. So we're going to create a a circle. And so it will be start from this center, just draw a circle and then create a radius. So this radius equals this one. So just link to that. And then also to make sure this circle follows this reference plan. So just select it, check this center mark visible. So you'll see this cross. Uh, let me change the scale a little bit. So see this cross. AL align lock and also the vertical reference plane lock. So now this is one of the circle and we will need another circle. Okay, so before we create another circle, let's create a thickness. So let's call it TH instance. Okay, so this will be the thickness of that um, patch or that plate. Okay, so let's say uh, 10 mil apply and then okay 
So now we need to create another one. So another circle from here to here, radius, and also I'm going to just select the circle and check this uh, center mark. And also AL, align, cross, reference plan, across, and lock. So now, and then this radius will be, uh, let's call it R3 instance. Okay. So now go to family types. So R3 equals the thickness plus R2. Okay. So R2 plus TH. Apply. Okay. So now you will see the thickness between these two circles will be 10 mil. Um, okay. So now if I click OK, so now let's go to 3D view. So you will see this is a revolve. Okay. So this is a full uh, tube. So depending on the radius 1 and the radius 2, so for example, I change radius 1 to 2 meter, it becomes 2 meter radius. If I change this to uh, 100, it becomes 100. Okay. But we don't need for the patch, for that plate, for this plate, we only need this little part of uh, this tube. So what we can do is so select this and here because this is a revolve you have the option here so for uh, we can type in so uh, 10 10 degree so that's 10 degree and uh, negative 10 degree so um, yeah depending on the size of your the that um, plate I think 10 to negative 10 is should be big enough I think yeah let's just use 10 and negative 10 and also um, for this plate I don't I don't need the full circular shape so let me just hh this base I I only need the top part so this part okay I don't need you know these so what I'm going to do is I'll just go to front view and edit revolve so see this is the profile of that revolve so I don't need this bottom part because if I have, have this part I need to cut it away I need to, to use void to cut away but I can actually when I create this revolve I can just uh, get rid of the bottom part so use pick line pick this reference plane okay so make sure it's lock lock to the reference plane so I'm going to just trim trim okay so and then I'll pick another one for here pick another one and trim and trim so now we have this so let me just change the scale a little bit so you will see this is the shape of this okay so finish this and now if we go to 3d view so this is only a half circle okay so now go to floor plan and then we just need to create some reference plan to cut away part of this shape okay so this is a just basic reference plan equal reference plan equal and another reference plan oh sorry another dimension sorry dimension equal dimension equal and another two dimension so this one will be uh, let's call it w1 instance okay so this one will be w2 instance okay so now we just need to create a void extrusion so i'm going to just use this rectangle rectangle and lock them onto the reference plan and also i want to create uh, this curve or arc so i'm going to use a fillet arc okay so click on that you can just use a uh, radius just put in a number so 20 looks fine and pick this one pick this one and then lock um to toggle join tendency <laughs> okay so click on this one click on this one and also create a radius so let me just change the scale so once again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so click, click, talk, toggle, toggle, radius. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so now select all these radius, four radius, and let's create a, um, I think it should be R4. Okay, so this will be the radius of these uh, corners. And then, so this is, uh, this will only cut a hole. So what we need is just draw a big rectangular shape. So this will create a void uh, and cut away the, the external part of this. So finish it and then let's go to front view. So we just need to adjust the height. So you will see if I click on tag, so this one, so a tab. So yeah, so you need to use tab to select this uh, uh, void. Okay, so just drag this up and down to make sure it cut away the whole, you know, the ex external part of this shape. Okay, so this is it. And if I change the scale, so we will see it's better. So this is the shape of that family. Um, that's, that's it. So now let's just um, um, just create, let's create a, I'll just create a generic model. Okay, so, uh, and try this family. So in this, I'm going to use a sweep. Okay, so draw a circle path for number three meter. Finish edit profile I'm going to draw it in 3D view okay so in 3D view and draw a circle here so maybe uh, let's say 150 and finish it and finish it so now let's load this into here so I'm going to place it uh, in on this so you know, on, on the face of this tube so tab, uh, click on space to rotate it. So I think roughly here, okay? And then we can, so because this one's uh, the R1 is three meter and R2 is 150, so we just need to select this family. So R1, so, so you will see it's not matching perfectly. So if I type TL, We'll see this uh, it's not matching the radius of this shape okay so I'll change this R1 to 3 meter okay and then I'll change the R2 to 150 so now you will see yeah it's matching uh, it's uh, it's it's matching the shape of this and also you can change the so for example thickness I'll change to 5 all good change this uh, radius so 50 yeah change the size of this uh, 150 uh, 350 something like that All good and this is it so this is a very simple uh, face based family um, being placed onto a curved surface and and with all these parameters, so we can match these two. Uh, with, we can match the, surf, the the shape of this plate to the shape of this uh, this tube. Okay, so um, in case you need to, so for example, this one, um, we need to create a plate inside this tube. So to to do that. You just need to so let's let me just quickly uh, go to this family so you can just select this revolve when you create these you just need to uh, I'll just ex show quickly show you okay so I'm not going to um, constrain this properly I'll just show you you can do it you can use the same um, axis line same just when you place the profile it will be placed under this under the reference line okay so and I'll just quickly show you so if you load this back into here so you will see this plate 
will be placed inside this tube. Okay, so um, and also if you so in this case it's been placed inside of this tube, but if you need to place it out on the ex ex exterior side of the tube, it will be you just need to um, let me just control Z this one, change this back to the previous one. And what you need to do is uh, instead of so oh, actually I already mirrored this reference line. So instead of have this reference line here, you just need to have the ref place this reference line here. And when you uh, let me just draw uh, oh, sorry create a dimension to it and. What's this one? R1. I'll place R1 to it as well. And then you just need to select this revolve. Okay, so this is the axis line. So I'm going to just um, unlock it and align it down here. Lock it down here. So if I finish it, then now if I go to 3D view, you will see instead of going that shape, now it's going this way. Okay, so now if I load this back over right, and you will see it won't match because now it's, it, sh it should match here. So I'll see as create similar, and we can place it here. So now you will see it match there. Right. So that's it. Um, if if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.